little security announcement. Thank you all for listening. Um, and now we have Kelvin Liu, who will talk about compact logical experimental language. Or, as you might call it, complex length. <laughs> so, uh, some of the properties of complex length, it's a priori. And the intention was to make it what I call phono-semantic graphic. So every letter corresponds to one sound, very nice. And every letter also corresponds to just one meaning. <laughs> so the hope was if you learned the 32 letters in the language, you would understand the whole language. But unfortunately, more realistically, you'll need to know some physics, math, set theory. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, don't worry too much about the definitions. Uh, that's what the emojis are for. Um, but I will point out a couple interesting things. So like, as I said, each so uh, each of the consonants corresponds to a set of things in the universe. Um, like you might have the set of all integers, whole numbers. You might have the set of all uh, n is the set of all. Sorry, s is animals and people. Uh, uh, f is internal energy. Um, and so it's mostly about um, using combining these sets and talking about like the relationships between different things in the world. Um, and each of the sets have a type, uh, which determines what they do and how you can use them. Um, so, for example, um, like energy is indexed by joules. So, uh, if you like count up all the energy in some room, you would have like the amount of energy in joules. Or like organisms is by organisms. Um, these sets are all just recommendations. You can <laughs> believe whatever you want to believe. Um, hopefully, like the other person you're talking to believes the same things. Um, we also needed to define some zero elements because the sets are all infinite, so you can't really pick out any individual thing unless we have some reference point. I see a choice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, like most languages, it's declarative. When I say a statement, I, it's, I'm saying this is something I believe is true. Um, and it's infinite graph. So we'll go into that. So we take each of those consonants, those sets, and we combine them using vowels to talk about something. You might say, like, you know, the people are all inside homes, or like uh, the group of all people and animals, or, you know, the, the, the force field induced by the charge within the or something like that. Um, don't worry too much about the questions. We don't have enough time for that. But here's an example sentence. So, I think it's pronounced Oi shu wa niya sunia do shunia ai sun suna o oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, this means. <laughs> uh, so let's focus down on this little part. <laughs> so that's supposed to mean your current location. And you wouldn't think it has to be this complicated, but it really does. Because, <laughs> like, I get my mouse up here. Like, let's say here's you. Person one, right? And here's me. This is me. And this is time zero, which is defined as now. So I want to say, like, at this point in time, I'll be here, right? Because you might have moved. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Um, so you know, you might think, like, I will just, uh, at this point in time, I will intersect with this. Unfortunately, that means that I'll be traveling backwards in time to where you currently are. <laughs> so that doesn't really work. Um, or you might say, like, you know, in the future, I'll be there. I'll be where you are. But then that's not really where you were at this point in time. So that doesn't really work. So really, you need to, like, use set theory and be like, here is, like, the set of all positions and the intersection of you in that position. Um, and then, like, you index that across all time. And then I can say, I'll be there. Here. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> uh, and then at this point, you might be, you're probably worrying like, if I serialize this tree, like in English, in, or, in order, the always through me, I'm going to lose 4 to the n over n to the 30, 
three halves bits of information because I won't be able to tell like how high, like where the branches are in the tree, like if this one's above or below this one, right? Um, so hopefully you can tell from context, like whether, <laughs> like, you know, if I'm eating at home, it's probably not like the house is eating inside of me. <laughs> but if you really needed me to clarify, I would say, Something like that. Just to know the height of the branches. It's all. It's all. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to some nice examples like pole, which means a soul exists. Or. Um, Fizz, which of course means that <laughs> <laughs> technically it means that the constituents of mass and energy refer to the same things, um, uh, things that bear mass and energy. Um, uh, here's some nice, like, it's just so easy to say important things, like, I mu, mu, rashui, rishaoyoni. Which is <laughs> very, very important. Um, so here's a here's a complete sentence, and let's try to break this one down. emojis this time, so it makes more sense. Uh, so here's you, and this is the charge that intersects with your body, uh, and this is the force field induced by that charge, um, and so we evaluate, we get the force field at my position, uh, and multiply that by the, the measure of all the charge in my body, and this is where like the, the measure thing was really useful, you, do, you use some like integration and you get you can like count charge, uh, and then divide that by the unit vector, and say that unit vector is the same direction as the direction towards you. So, um, there's equations. And, of course, this means <laughs>